<laughs> not, that's not the third time. I only did that once. They're not cheap. We're about, oh, there she goes. Bye, Kate. I definitely have never done this before, so. everybody and welcome to today's vlog. This morning, Katie and I are working out before we start our schoolwork and work work. There's Katie right there, finishing up a hill. How you doing, Kate? You got it going. We are running hills this morning, which I have not started yet and I'm a little uh, nervous about, but that's okay. Here we go. So, um, we're back. Oh, there she goes. Bye, Kate. I will bring you up to speed on what we've been working on. But right now, oh, Katie's over there taking pictures of some clothes she's gonna be selling online. Kate and I just had a workout. We did our run. And then Kate didn't do calisthenics. She did, what's it called? When you, I started to see conditioning or whatever, right? What would you say you did? Sit-ups, push-ups, side hunt down. Some exercises? Yeah, those. Ryan has been doing school work and I'm strengthening my mind. You are strengthening your mind. That's a good way to put it. Puzzles. Math and puzzles. Um, a lot of this area wasn't here when I started. Whoa! I just dropped my camera. Hold on. Okay. A lot of this area wasn't here when I started. I kind of did this, um, and I'm really proud of it. So. Now it's just like Katie to show up at the end of the puzzle and finish exactly. it. Exactly. I know. <laughs> this is like no, the third time. That's not, that's not the third time. I only did that once. Oh. I helped you every other time. Oh. Here. Yeah. Kate's mad. No, you're not. You're not really mad. No. I'm not. She's fueled. It's just funny. I know. So this one, you guys, is a Cars one. We have a Harry Potter a thousand piece puzzle here somewhere, but we cannot we find it at our it. house. No, we definitely gave it to Kimmy. No, we gave. We got two puzzles. We gave her one and kept one. I just don't know where we kept it. So this um, is a 500 piece puzzle, which we thought was gonna be fairly simple, but it's been a little it, bit yeah. rough. Well, because it's, cars it's look really all these like, colors, right? They all, and it's like a lot of black. Yes. It's just like yeah. hard to figure out where to put. I'm gonna have to order another one online soon because we're gonna need one because this one's gonna be done in about it's 15 like minutes. We can't yeah. survive without puzzles. Though. Like, but would we like, want to, Katie? Would we really want to? Puzzle addicted. Well, we, we are. <laughs> we're definitely puzzle addicted. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll show you finished. Oh, Hang on, guys. Which is going to be in. It's just a few minutes. Just yeah. a few minutes. Because when you get towards the end of the puzzle, it starts to speed up, and then you kind of just Wicked fast. The Except for that. The end of the puzzle. End of the puzzle. End of the puzzle. <laughs> Look who jumped in at the very end. Doesn't do any puzzle and decides oh, he wants to try to finish it for it. us. It is so oh, yeah. cheaty. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. All right, you literally jumped in. Let's go. All right. You got it, Ryan. Really? Right, should we do the last two together? Yeah, yeah, hold up. All right, hold on. Ready? Yeah, ready? Wait, we both push it in. Ready? Set. Go. Yeah! yeah. We have one 500, one 1,000, and then another 500. Yes. So, Time to go back to 1,000. What do you think? Yeah, let's go back to 1,000. All right. That was awesome. We got to send a picture to fun. Pap and Nan so they see that we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to keep up with Pap. He's much better oh, than us, but he's wicked good. What are you doing, Brennan? Uh, yeah, so I got AirPods for my birthday mm -hmm. on November 3rd, mm -hmm. 2019, mm -hmm. and I probably wore them, you know, had them for a long time. Uh, two weeks, two, three weeks, something like that? No, I think it was two months. Okay. Pretty sure it was in January. Uh-huh. Anyways, uh, everything was going fine, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have no idea where my AirPods were. thought they fell out, lost them on the road gone forever. Um, so I'm like searching eBay, gotta find a new pair. Uh, and then eventually I have uh, Amazon gift cards. So I use my Amazon gift cards to buy a pair from Amazon. Ooh. And then, that not, didn't go so not more than a week after I buy them and they come in, I find my other AirPods in my backpack. <laughs> and, <laughs> Does that like, figure? <laughs> But wait, you're not using your cheap AirPods for Amazon right now, are you? They're not cheap. Oh, I thought you said you found cheap ones on Amazon. No, I use my... Use your gift cards. Yeah. To get actual Apple ones. Yeah. Right, yes. Okay. So yeah. I, Brendan, while we're in Florida, tells me, Hey, Mom, by the way, I have an extra pair of I, uh, AirPods if you want them. So I bought them from Brennan. So oh, now he has $100 burning a hole in his pocket. So he's going to try to... Are you going to go spend all that on food? Yeah. Don't do that. We've got so much food here. I'm gonna eat some food here too. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, on the way back, when we were coming back from Florida, we're in the car and I was kind of freaking out because life in Florida was a lot different than it is in Maryland and food was very plentiful in Florida and I've been hearing these horror stories that it was not plentiful in Maryland and that you had to wait in line to go in the stores and all of that's pretty darn true. But um, So I kind of freaked out and I placed an online order for food before, so we could go like do, um, so it would be delivered the next day. But what I forgot was that right before we left for Florida, I made a huge Sam's run. So now we're like overflowing with food. We had to wiggle and jiggle to fit everything in the freezer. But the good news is we are, um, we're set. It's so, to get nice out here. It is, it's starting to get nice. And that's the other thing. Maryland, the weather in Maryland and, and up like the Northeast, the whole time we were in Florida, our friends were telling us and my, my family was telling us that it was terrible, like terrible, like unseasonably cold through the whole spring. So we come back and the first day we're back, it's like sunny and 75 <laughs> here. So we've really lucked out and um, it's nice weather. Not as nice as Florida, but it's at least nice. I have a friend, yeah. You probably don't need a sweatshirt, Brennan. Yeah, well, yeah. just in case it gets cold. Okay. All right, so we are um, settling in nicely. This is what you guys like to do. We got a new umbrella. Oh, wait, wait. Nice. ball at the beach with my friends and it's really high tide today and it's good for fishing so i was thinking why not bring out the fishing rod for the first time of the season so uh, yeah there it, is. Yay. there it is um it's not that big but i'm only catching perch right now so it doesn't really matter um so yeah so and mom's helping me tie up the uh the line let me just ask a quick question has this part right here been like in a fish's mouth this part no no okay. no only only the hook you Ew. That's good at a fish's mouth? Yes, lots of them. Okay, gross. Um, so, anyway. We want to show you how Ryan is going to, what do you call it? Lure? What do you call it? What are you doing? Tying a line. He's tying a line. That's how Dad always taught me. It might be different from what you do, but that's how we do it. I definitely have never done this before, so. Okay, so tell me what to do. stories about how you cut the wrong line <laughs> and then they had to do it all over again all right so what are you going to go fishing for perch are we going to eat it for dinner if i get a big enough one with it. okay you that know? sounds good good luck thank you all right have fun thank you um you might want to put something on your feeties because it's really cold out right, there i'll put slides on
Okay. Oh, slides. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, you guys, one of the things that I'm getting used to now, um, regretfully, is that now that we're home, the kids are totally, like, they just scatter. They do their schoolwork and they scatter and they go hang out with their friends, which actually warms my heart because they have such wonderful friends and it's just, they just have constant fun, which is really good. But, um... I am by myself <laughs> or Mike, you know, Mike and I are working, whatever, but that's okay. I, I am having a little bit of, um, separation anxiety. Is that what you call it from when we were in Florida? Because we were there again for eight weeks all together, all the time. And I loved it. And we only got on each other, other's nerves, maybe like really not that much, maybe the kids on each other, but I did great with it. I absolutely love it. But now we're here and they, like I say, do the work and scatter. Um, they are mostly like, I guess they go over to some people's houses, but they're mostly outside. Like Ryan, Brennan plays this outside game at his friend Tripp's house and uh, lots of places. Ryan always goes to the beach or to the, um, the beach in the neighborhood or rides his bike. Um, they play spike ball a lot. Katie's always outside. She might be inside. Bye, have fun. Anyway, I've been inside most of the day. Today I did um, sit out in the sun. It was beautiful earlier, but not so much anymore. But let me show you what I've been doing. I've been working on my closet. Before we left to go to Florida, we had, if you can recall, we had just put in um, new modular closets from the Modular Closet Company. Take a peek right. Wait a minute, it's looking at me. So there, I think. Anyway, and you can take a look at the video of us like putting it together. But let me show you what it looks like now. It's almost completely done. Not fully done, but almost completely done. So hold on a second here. Okay, so here I am. There is the, I can't even really see, but there's the closet. Let me go over it in this direction. There we go. There's the closet. It's so exciting. I'm waiting on one thing right here. I bought a fluffy long carpet, like a long carpet runner, um, and it's white, and I'm pretty excited about that. But I bought that little jewelry armoire um, on Facebook Marketplace uh, last night. So I've moved into that. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, there's better lighting. Hold on. I had to add some lighting to the closet because the only lighting we have is up there and our closet um, insert covered it a little bit. But anyway, so I'm really, really, really happy with the way everything has turned out. It is so organized. I have so many more drawers now. Mike so graciously gave me all eight of these drawers, which is really nice. Look at those. And I have, whoa, I have these um, shelves and then Mike has these shelves over here. And then I have my shoe rack. Do, 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 do. And Mike's clothes. My hanging clothes. My hats. More hanging clothes. And then over here, let me turn the one line on. I just got today. Over here is where I have some hanging necklaces and stuff, but this is what I'm. Um, one of the things that I just couldn't get rid of, Mike calls it clutter. Well, not really, actually, he's pretty proud of it. So, but I just didn't want to have it displayed for everybody to see. But these are my medals from my runs and so marathons, half marathons, 10 mile runs, and a couple um, sprint marathons or sprint triathlons. There are my Mickey ears. And this is my name tag from when I worked at Disney. I met Michael. Wait, can you see it up there? Wait, there you go. And these are my bibs from the runs. Marine Corps Marathon, uh, Princess Half Marathon, those kinds of things. So, yeah, that's um, that's my closet in a nutshell. Oh, there's my purses over there. But anyway, I am, I've been working diligently on this. My goal is to have it finished by the time Mike gets back. So it was a lot of stuff to move out. If you watch that other video, maybe I'll put a picture in here of the other closet and the new closet. But if you watch that video, you'll see it was, it was a nightmare. There was tons of stuff. It's not all back in there. Like I have old papers and artwork and that kind of stuff from the kids. And, um, I don't know, just random things like trophies and sewing kits and that kind of junk that I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet, but certainly not back in the closet. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy watching that. And it's been nice to sort of get back into um, being productive and doing some things. Katie and I went on a run earlier today, which I think we already told you it felt so good. And that's that. So right now we're kind of just wiggling back into our own routines um, that we had before we went to Florida. And um, I'm very happy that the kids are happy. I'm happy. 
All right, you guys, sorry about that. Right in the middle of filming, Ryan called and guess what? He's got good news. Literally, he's been out there for, I don't know, two minutes and he got a fish. Wait, why are you on that dock? Uh, is that your good luck dock? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you. What'd you catch? I got a striper. A striper? Hold on, let me zoom in. There's bigger ones at the mouth of the creek and like inlets in the river. Oh, that's Good job, Ryan. Anyway, Look at that boat like behind. Sorry, it's, it's so dirty. Out. Holy cow. Not, I was about to say he's running out of air, but he's got two of them. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, bud. Uh -huh. He's like Gilligan's Island back there. <laughs> All right, the night is coming to an end. I have finished my work on my closet as far as I can go. And now I'm starting to move toward the dining room, which is that area right there. We took down the wine wall. I think I mentioned that to you guys earlier today. And if you saw us before we went to Florida, you saw us take down the wine wall. You can look at this and see this video right there, I think, and see that. And um, that has been a dream of mine for a really long time to get rid of that wine wall and put in some storage, some pantry storage. So I'm really excited about that. Some pantry and serving dishes in China and that kind of storage. So my first step in putting that together is I did a design. Actually, I didn't do the design. I chose a design that looks kind of like this. It is actually this, but that's more for a living room. Mine is gonna be for a dining room. So it's gonna have barn doors in the middle and then open shelving on either side and down at the bottom where those doors are, we're gonna have china storage and things like that. I'm going to attempt to build that. This is my, these are my plans. Hold on, these are the plans and the cut list and everything. Oh, there it is in color. And there's more over here. But anyway, what I'm doing now is I am getting everything ready for to determine how high I want the shelves and that kind of stuff so I know what my plans are and how to build it. So what I did is I started to put together all of the items that I would want to store in there and all the items that need to be stored in the kitchen and decide, like, for example, now where they are and where they should go. So, for example, in this cabinet currently... We do have pots and pans down there, but we also have mixing bowls and that kind of thing, and it's pretty crowded. So I'm gonna move the mixing bowls over here and put the measuring cups up there. The baking dishes are gonna go over there. Small appliances here. Napkins, towels, and paper plates will go there. So these are all the other things that I have left to then put into the pantry. So when I do that, then that'll help me determine, um, well, here you go. I drew out what the pantry is going to look like so then I can determine what goes where and how tall I need to make those shelves. Like if cereal is 12 inches tall, I need to know, need to make sure that I have a shelf that's at least, you know, 14 inches tall to hold cereal and that kind of thing. And then another one that doesn't need to be so tall, maybe six inches tall for cans, that type of thing. So anyway, so I'm working all through that right now. I'm very excited about it. But the next project that I'm going to be doing is this little space right here. I'm going to be putting in a wine rack in this little space. So that's my very next project. And then, um, but to get some of the wood cut for that, it's some of the, I'm gonna use some of the scrap wood from this project over here to make this, but I'm gonna do this first. So I wanna make sure that when I go get my cuts at the, um, uh, at the store, that I get the, the cuts for that and then use the scrap for this. Does that make sense? So I can save some money and use one, pe one sheet of plywood. Um, for both of those. Okay, that is what's going on in my life. I know it's not that super exciting, but to me, it's super exciting because all these projects are totally on my list and so much fun to do. And I feel so empowered when I can um, can figure it out. And actually, the funny th funny story about this, and I promise I'll let you go. All right, this guy right here, this, this has been a hole in our kitchen ever since we moved in. So in 1990, wait, yeah, burned in 2001. So we moved in here in 2002. So since 2002, this has been a hole in the kitchen. And about three years later, I decided I want a wine rack there. So that's, you know, 15 years ago, whatever, I decided I want a wine rack here. And I could not figure out how to do it because I can't get it drilled in here sideways, this, that, and the other. On my run this morning, I finally figured out how I'm going to do it. And stay tuned. I will share with you what that's going to look like and how we're going to do that and uh, from a functional perspective. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see if the kids are ready to share it. Made them happy. It is late at night, and I am sure they are ready to go to bed. Hey, Katie, Kate. Hello. What made you happy today, my love?
off my threads. Oh, good. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. All right, tomorrow morning up, homework or schoolwork starting at nine. Okay, buddy? Workout starting at nine. Oh, sounds good. I think tomorrow we're gonna yeah. film, we're gonna film a school routine at home video. Very good. Hey, Ryan, what made you happy today, buddy? What made me happy today? I uh, was fishing for the first time in a long time, um, or in a while, and um, uh, I'm playing spike ball with my friends for like the fifth time in a row. All right, you had a pretty rocking day, and you yeah. got some schoolwork done. Yeah. Nice. Your grades are looking great. Nux. Thank you. You're Nux. welcome. Good night, baby. All right, and last but not least in our order. Oh, he's doing some schoolwork. Can I turn your light on? Yeah. Maybe you're not doing schoolwork. Wait a minute, I just heard a crowd cheer. Yeah, you are? Yeah. Or does it include watching um, Last Dance? Maybe. <laughs> All right, very good. What made you happy today, babe? Maybe happy today was winning in Palm. We beat uh, undefeated team twice. Fantastic. Congratulations. Back to back. All right. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, dreams. I love you. Want to take time. us out? Comment below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.